Praise be to the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's thank and praise God for giving us this time to worship Him, this time to meditate on His Word. The Lord abides with us, the Lord leads us, and the Lord's blessing is upon us. Before we begin to worship the Lord, shall we pray? Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for all the blessings, for all your grace that has been bestowed upon us, Lord. At this time, as your children, we have come into your presence to worship you, Lord, and to listen to your word. Your word has life, and you said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Father, we look forward for that word, that word of prophecy, that word that strengthens us, Lord. Speak to us as we meditate upon your word. Bless this time of worship. We submit to your Lordship, giving you all the glory, honor, and praise. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Many times, we struggle because we fail to surrender to God what has to be surrendered. This wonderful hymn, as we sing it together, let's tell the Lord, Lord, I surrender everything to you. Because I know that is the safest thing to do. Let's sing this hymn. Truly know that I 
Today's meditation is taken from the book of Joshua chapter 14 verses 10 and 11. But now look, it has been 45 years since the Lord said that to Moses. That was when Israel was going through the desert and the Lord as he promised has kept me alive ever since. Look at me, I am 85 years old and I am just as strong today as I was when Moses sent me out. I am still strong enough for war or anything else. Caleb says that for 45 years, his strength did not reduce. Something amazing. How can it be? How can it be? Let's look at the background a bit and learn the secret from Caleb's life. The children of Israel were coming close to the promised land. They wanted to spy out the land. They wanted to see for themselves how the land was. So Moses chose 12 leaders from each of the 12 tribes and they went for 40 days to inspect the land. They saw the land, they saw that it was good, but they also saw giants. So 10 of the 12 spies were very much afraid and so they brought an evil report. That's what the Bible says. They told the children of Israel that it was not possible for them to go and possess the land because of the terrain and because of the giants who lived in that land. But Jacob and Caleb, they were so sure. They said that we will surely possess that land because God will help us. Because God who brought us up to this point will surely help us to overcome and possess or inherit that land. Now, when the children of Israel heard these two contradicting reports, they went with the majority. We need to understand that majority is always not right. This is one example for that. But when they heard the ten spies, their evil report, this is how they reacted. Numbers chapter 14 verse 2. They complained against Moses and Aaron and said, it would have been better to die in Egypt or even here in the wilderness. How often when we face setbacks, troubles and trials in life, we say 
it would be better if I die. Now God who heard these words, he responded like this. Numbers chapter 14, verses 28 and 29. Now give them this answer. I swear that as surely as I live, I will do to you just what you have asked. I, the Lord, have spoken. You will die and your corpses will be scattered across this wilderness. Because you have complained against me, none of you over 20 years of age will enter the land. It happened just as the Lord told them. They roamed in the desert for 40 years. At the end of the 40 years, except Caleb and Joshua, none of them who were about 20 years of age entered the promised land. But we see that Caleb was totally different. He was entirely a different person. This is what God said about Caleb. Numbers chapter 14 verse 24. But because my servant Caleb has a different attitude and has remained loyal to me, I will bring him into the land which he explored and his descendants will possess the land. Now this is God's word that was spoken to Caleb or about Caleb when Caleb was 40 years old. Now 45 years have passed and God's word came to pass. God fulfilled his promise. God did what he had promised Caleb. And when he is 85 years old, this is what Caleb says. Joshua chapter 14 verses 10 and 11. But now look, it has been 45 years since the Lord said that to Moses. That was when Israel was going through the desert and the Lord, as he promised, has kept me alive ever since. Look at me, I am 85 years old. When people were dying in the desert, God, according to his word, protected Caleb. Remember that you and I are protected by the word of God, by the promise of God. And Caleb continues to say like this, and I am just as strong today as I was when Moses sent me out. I am still strong enough for war or for anything else. What an amazing statement from an 85-year-old man. Why did he not age? Why did he not grow weak? Even at 85, he says, I still have the strength that I had when I was 40 years old. What was the reason? Caleb held on to God, God's promise, and the promised land. He saw the giants there, and he wasn't able to fight because of the people when he was 40 years old. But he kept telling in his mind, I will reach that place because God has promised me, and when I reach there, I am going to fight those giants, and I am going to take God's promise for me. So many things were happening around him. But Caleb's mind was on God, his promise, the promised land. God, God's promise, and the promised land. Dear child of God, as a part of the church of Christ, we are called out people like the children of Israel. We were called out from this world. And when they left Egypt, they obeyed the commandment of God in that they sacrificed the Passover lamb. And none of them were killed. They were protected supernaturally by the blood of the lamb. We have also been taken out from this world and protected by the blood of the lamb. They crossed the Red Sea. We have been baptized. And then they, as they walked in the desert, they ate manna, the heavenly food that God gave them. We do partake in the Lord's table. But as they started on their journey, their mind was turned away from God, His promises. They couldn't believe 
like Caleb. They couldn't hold on to the promise like Caleb. They had a different heart from that of Caleb. Now, so many things happened those 40 years during which the children of Israel were wandering in the wilderness. But all the time, Caleb had his eyes focused. Let's read a one incident. It's recorded in the book of Numbers, chapter 16, verses 1 to 3. Korah, the son of Izar, Dathan, and Abraham, sons of Eliab, and On, the son of Pelet, dared to challenge Moses. These four men were joined by 250 Israelite men, well-known leaders of the community, chosen by the assembly. They came together to confront Moses and Aaron and said to them, You've gone far enough. Everyone in the whole community is holy and the Lord is among them. Why do you set yourselves about the Lord's assembly? Caleb was one among the 12 leaders. But now there are 250 leaders. The Bible says well-known leaders. But Caleb is not one of them. When the world is fighting for positions, when the world is fighting about leadership, now Caleb is not to be seen anywhere near these people. Caleb was busy keeping his faith. He was not going to get drawn into these leadership issues because he knows that positions of authority come from God. If we try to lift ourselves, we can be sure that we will fall. But if God will lift us up, no one can pull us down. Look at the lives of David. He was a shepherd. God lifted him up. And the throne of David is spoken of even today. But David's son, Absalom, he wanted the throne for himself. He was longing for that power. He was longing to be the leader. But we know his sad end. Dear people of God, we live in a time when everywhere there is a tussle for leadership. There's so much of fights and differences of opinions, factions going on in this world. If you want to reach the promised land, you better keep away from all of these politics. Keep away from what people are trying to do for themselves. Just keep your faith like how Caleb held on to his faith. So when they started to fight against Moses and Aaron, this is what God said. Numbers chapter 16, verses 23 and 24. Then the Lord said to Moses, tell the community, move away from the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Move away. This is what God is telling us during this time. Move away from these people who are fighting for positions. Move away from these people who are causing confusion in the camp. Move away from people who are fighting for positions of leadership. Be like Caleb, who just was focused on God, God's promise, and the promised land. And we find another very strange thing recorded in the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verses 4 and 5. Then they moved from Mount Hor following the road that goes to the Red Sea in order to get around Edom. The people became impatient on the trip. Now here is one more thing. The path of faith that we walk on earth does have its share of challenges. When the people had to go around, take a round about, they were impatient. But Caleb and Joshua, part of that team, they never showed any impatience because Caleb knew even if it would take 45 years, God was faithful to fulfill his promise. So we as human beings tend to get so involved in these things, but we fail to understand that God 
has called us to come and be with him forever and ever in that promised land we are moving towards that we are moving towards god's presence to be with him forever and ever so that focus should never be turned away we should keep that focus right in front of our eyes like caleb did and that way we will not get involved in these kinds of petty things just look around and see it's sad to see ministers fighting against fellow ministers churches fighting against churches do you think god is pleased do you think god will approve at this time of impatience caleb is patient numbers 21 verse 5 and criticized god and moses they said why did you make us leave egypt just to let us die in the desert there's no bread or water and we can't stand this awful food they are referring to something called awful food what is that awful food that they are referring to they are talking about manna which god gave them from heaven the special wonderful food that kept them safe through the wilderness journey it is being despised by the people as people of god we partake in the lord's table and we take that bread which is a symbol of the body of jesus christ the first time we entered church we enjoyed the worship we enjoyed the word but as days went by we let our eyes and our heart be distracted by the things of this world and the word of god the fellowship the communion all that became not so attractive in our lives at this time as we listen to this message i want to challenge you and ask you whether you are going to be like Caleb or like the rest of Israel Caleb was firm in his faith though he had to wait for 45 years he waited silently his name does not appear during that 40 years of the wilderness wandering because i believe that every day he woke up with faith every day he woke up with an expectation god will do what he has promised that he will do in my life that kept him going by the grace of god he entered the promised land according to the promise of god let me close by placing one verse before you psalms chapter 84 and verse 7 their strength grows as they go along until each one of them appears in front of god in zion they grow from strength to strength the people of god i wish that each of us will be like caleb holding on to our faith and growing in faith and keeping that strength from day to day because we have a god who keeps promises shall we pray loving heavenly father we thank you lord for this walk of faith that we all are traveling thank you for your words thank you for the life of caleb so challenge before us lord his strength did not diminish one bit in 45 years he held on to his faith and during the time of wandering we don't see him coming up except after they reached the promised land from that we understand that Caleb's eyes was focused on you your promises and he kept continuing in faith give us that grace lord at this time we search our hearts to see if we are after positions if we are struggling with worldly things or if we are impatient or if we detest the things of god forgive us lord and help us lord to refocus on you and your promises and the promised land we give you all glory honor and praise 
In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The name of our Lord is holy. The name of our Lord is to be blessed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 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 Most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it, and they are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into the name of the Lord, holy is the name of the Lord, most high, holy is the name of the Lord, holy is the name of the Lord, holy is the name of the Lord, most high. Just run into it, and they are saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. Glory to the name of the Lord. We give glory to the name of the Lord. is always walking close to us. When we are weak, He is strong. We're going to sing the song, an attitude of prayer. Lord, I want to walk closer with you, Lord. I want to walk closer with you. Lord Jesus, grant it. Because when I'm weak, you are strong. Just a closer walk with me Granted Jesus, it's my plea Daily walking close to Thee Let it be, dear Lord, let it be I am weak, but Thou art strong. Jesus, 
Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk, dear Lord, close to Thee. This world of toils and snares If I falter, Lord, who cares? Who with me my burden shares? None but Thee, dear Lord, none but Thee But thou art strong Jesus keep me from all wrong I'll be satisfied as long As I walk, dear Lord, close to thee When my feeble life is o'er Time for me will be no more When I cross the Jordan shore I will walk, dear Lord, close to Thee But thou art strong Jesus keep me from all wrong I'll be satisfied as long As I walk, dear Lord, close to thee Heavenly Father, thank you for this privilege that you've given us to worship you, Lord. Thank you for speaking to us. Give us faith like Caleb. As we go through this life's journey, Lord. There are so many things that happen around us. But just like Caleb, help us to focus on you, on your word. And the land that you have promised. Whatever you have promised, Lord, you're faithful to fulfill it. We humbly submit ourselves in your presence. And thank you, Lord, for speaking to us and strengthening us in this journey of faith. We give you all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen.